What's up everybody, welcome to the Charcoal King. Today is a smoked pot roast on the grill. Now I know pot roast has been done a thousand different ways. So how are we gonna take the simple ingredients and move it way up here on the on the eat meter? You know what I'm saying? Like one of those just like belly rubbing good meals. Stay tuned. How do you look at meat? How do you grade meat? And how do you know what kind of meat you're going to get from the grocery store? We're going to show you right here. You, see, you guys see that marbling running through that? A lot of this stuff is just going to be fat that you can peel off when it's all said and done. But we're talking about a high quality, good piece of meat right here. You guys see all that marbling in there? And that's what you want to look for when you're at the grocery store. So from here, if you guys want to trim it, you're more than welcome. But if you follow me and you stay true to yourself, fat is flavor and this bad boy is loaded with fat so you can't go wrong so how are we going to make it go from like let's not have pot roast to oh my gosh let's have pot roast we're going to show you how we're going to smoke it that's right we're going to smoke it for a couple hours i've already got my grill set up uh if you guys want to see how to set up our charcoal grill and use it as a smoker we've got that video right there for you we're already well on the way but this is what we're going to do I found this stuff today at the uh, local Costco, it's called Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. I don't know about you, but when you talk about butter and steakhouse in one sentence, you've got my heart right there. So we're gonna go simple today, especially on the seasoning. One, because of smoke to the meat, and two, because the vessels that we use is just gonna add that, that oomph, and we're gonna take it up just a notch. All right, bear with me, we got some flies going around here. So we're gonna coat it liberally. We got Nellie in the background. <laughs> She's always a part of the plan. Cut it liberally. Remember, guys, this is a big piece of meat, and it's going to cook for several hours. We're only going to smoke it maybe for about two hours. We're not looking to cook it all the way through. We just want the meat to, uh, to penetrate a little bit. So we got some of that butter on there, and I love me some pepper. Love me some pepper. If they don't have that buttery steakhouse seasoning, what other seasoning do yeah, they use? There's plenty of packets from the grocery store you can cheat with. There's also, uh, you know, the good old method about salt, pepper, and garlic. Um, we're not necessarily, what's my? Changing. We're not changing the flavor. We're taking the pot roast here and making it there. Ooh. And let me tell you something. I don't know which one I like better. I don't know if I actually like pot roast, but I can tell you what I do like after the pot roast has been served and eaten and we have leftovers is beef vegetable soup. Oh, good. I think that's why I actually like making pot roast. All right, so we got black pepper on both sides. We've got it full of our, this uh, buttery steakhouse seasoning. All we're gonna do is put it on our smoker. Look at that, that's how you do it. All right, we're gonna close the lid, get in that smoke zone. And like I said, we're gonna smoke it for about two hours. There's not a lot of smoke in there, or a lot, not a lot of wood for smoke. I don't want to overpower it by any means. Let me show you what we got going on. All I did, I set my charcoal grill up like a smoker. You guys know what that video looks like. If not, check that link above. And uh, so far, it's been going for about an hour. We've got it pegged about, it's about 300, about 275 right now. And we're going to target about two hours. Then we're gonna combine all of our ingredients together and we're gonna braise this bad boy in this grill. And I'm gonna tell you what, that meat's gonna be falling apart and then juices. <sighs> Good. One of my favorites, stay tuned. All right guys, here we go. All right, so like I said before, hey, if you guys see flies going around, I think they know the Charcoal King's cooking today and they've all come for dinner. So I don't know what's happened, but I'm getting attacked left and right. So if you see me, <laughs> Karate chop I one literally there. just saw them flying in front of the camera. Yeah, hey, I karate chopped one in the carotid artery and I knocked it down. So anyways, here, we're gonna keep going. Let's go over here. All right, we're at our two hour mark. You guys can see it's got a really nice crust. You guys can see that seasoning on there. And this is what we're gonna do. This is our 15 inch carbon steel a pan. We've done a review on it. It's one of my all-time favorite pans. And this is basically like the last true test to see if it's as good as I say it is. We're going to braise it. And a lot of times you fry, you've always got the oils in there. Braising is a little bit different because you add that liquid. So we're going to see what happens. 
I'm just gonna let my pan heat up a little bit and we're gonna show you what kind of stuff we're gonna to use today. I got this stuff right here, never used it before, but I do get tired of buying beef broth and it tastes like water. I can't stand that. I was like, man, I spent three bucks on something that I could reproduce myself. We got tons of stuff from the garden today. So let's get started. All right, our pan's there, simple. Cut up some onion. Everything's gonna be large chunks because it's gonna braise for about three hours. All right guys, so you can see I've got all my vegetables chopped. I got a jalapeno that I've seeded, just kept whole because I'm gonna take those out. I got some nice red potatoes, some button mushrooms, some uh, regular onion, some carrots, some uh, celery, and some uh, rosemary, thyme. Anyway, we're gonna put all this stuff in here and we're just gonna make it just marry together for about three hours. And when that meat starts pulling apart and absorbing all those juices, God, come on. All right, let's start building this son of a gun. There's no rhyme or reason what we're about to do. Everything goes in the pot. There's a video of one of mine, and I'm not exactly sure which one it was, but this is the only part I'd ever caution you on what to add, what not to add, how to make it yours, so forth. If you're using smoke on your grill and you keep your surface open, all that surface area is going to retain that smoke flavor, and I'm not a big component of it. I think it, um, it, it makes it bitter definitely not a big fan so what we're gonna do we're gonna have all of our stuff here hopefully it fits if not my wife is right if so i'm right i'm definitely gonna tell you about it so all we're gonna do is throw we have the... i mean we have to document it if you're right well that's true like i said there's no wrong or reason but i just don't know how you can't go wrong with what we've added i mean this is basically i'm about to add a fly I'm about to call it fly soup. <laughs> and I think I might make it fit just to despise my wife. Uh, yeah. Say, See, I told you it all fit. Now remember, you have to put that beef broth in there too. Oh, hey, that potato. Does that count? That's like the girls eating their vegetables and then they throw it on the floor and we they're like, oh, I'm done eating my vegetables. And we look around and there's more vegetables on the floor than there was on the plate. <sighs> Oh yeah. It's looking good, baby. Yeah. This is what it's all about. I'm telling you, this is one of those meals. That I'm once, excited about this one. Once you smoke it, I don't think you'd ever make it again, unless you're just in a rush. And I'm telling you right now, I promise you, look, look, look here, look here. If you're a crock pot fan and you put your roast beef or your pot roast in a crock pot and you have it like this, you'll never do it again. Never. <laughs> Never. I think a crock pot, a lot of times people get comfortable with it and they'll overcook it because it can stay in there for so long and it just draws let's out see. all that moisture. Let's let's just see how much more we have to fit in that pot. Because I think that your wife might be right here. Oh, you don't, I'm telling you what, my fans out there, the three of them, they know better. <laughs> they know when it comes to cook. I might not know how to do a lot of things, but you can tell this is like a... You know those commercials where it says like body by jet, body by beach body, body by this, body by this home gym? Hey, this is body by flavor right here. <laughs> All right, got a couple of rosemary. I'm not a big fan of it, so I'm gonna go a little light. Little light. I do like my thyme. I'm gonna put my thyme in there. Put a little garlic in there. We're gonna add about I don't know how much tomato paste. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five good squirts. That was real precise. How many Eight. tablespoons is that? If I had to guess, probably, probably a good two, two and a half tablespoons. Why? Because the acidity. And I love that deep, rich tomato flavor that it gives. It just gives it something. It's almost like that little extra something in the background that you wouldn't know about. Millie's over there. Now we're just gonna add this beef beef broth about halfway up. It looks like it's water too. Why can't win? Are you supposed to shake it first? Shake what your mama gave you? Uh -huh. I know one thing, that damn grill's hot. 
Be standing over here like an idiot. That's good right there. All right. Mm. So this is what I'm talking about. Guys, if you keep this open, just in your grill, just like this, then all that smoke is naturally going to come over. And I think it's going to make your vegetables and stuff like that. I just don't think they marry well together. I, I don't. So what we're going to do, throw a couple pieces of aluminum foil on there. Loosely. That's it. Close the lid. We're gonna go about halfway. Now, this part, I'm gonna shoot about 300. Now, we've been smoking about 250. I'm gonna raise the temperature up to about 300. And from this point, guys, we are so downhill, it's not even funny. Let's try three hours. I'm gonna check it probably about every hour, stir it up a little bit, and make sure everything's going good. And uh, we might show you guys a couple sneak peeks. But other than that, the next step is the bite, the end bite, and I can't wait. God, can I get here fast enough? Stay tuned. Wanted to do, uh, do a sneak peek here. We're pegged around 300. That's been my target temp the whole time. We've been in it about an hour, and I just want to show you guys what it looks like. Wow, that looks incredible. I'm telling you, this aluminum foil dinner that we made. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That looks good. Nice and easy. I did move it over on the, the hot side a little bit, so what I'm going to do... Probably doesn't need it. But you know. All right, guys, so we're gonna do another sneak peek. Remember now, we've already smoked it for two hours on the grill. Now this is about the two hours braising it. Oh God, yes. Oh yeah. I'm glad all that stuff didn't fit in there. I mean, it, it was close. No. Oh, God, that broth. Ooh, we're getting close, too. You guys see how tender that is? I'm glad we're getting close because I'm hungry. Well, I'd say about another hour. My goal is three <gasps> hours. I do. It's not yet falling apart. Oh, God. Maybe I'm wrong. Yep. I would say another hour. We're going to give it another hour. The moment of truth. We're hovering about three and a half to three hours and 45 minutes. And... Before you comment below and say, hey, how do I know it's done? Well, let me show you. Here's a secret. Whoo, baby. Here's a secret. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. You see that, how it's just pulling apart? Oh, my God. Look at that. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Mm. Now, this is where it gets a little bit of tough to film. I don't know how we're going to do this, but... I love my pot roast juice, just a hair thicker than natural. So what I'm gonna do, I've got my little strainer. I'm gonna take all my vegetables. Golly, and all those vegetables have just done nothing mm. but absorb all that liquid. Mm. That looks good, babe. Didn't have to heat up the house today. I don't know, I think it's 137 degrees. I think humidity's probably pegged about 230 percent today <laughs> didn't true. even turn on the oven golly it's hot just like you big daddy there ain't nothing hot about this all right <laughs> here we go your sauce is on there okay i'm gonna open my air vents a little bit it'll come back up to a boil see how it's coming up to a boil right now so what i've done i've created a slurry a slurry is just equal parts of flour and fat, whether it be olive oil or butter or whatever you got. Now, if you just add the flour straight to it, it would clump on you. So you have to dissolve it somehow. And all we're going to do, just thicken up just a hair. I like mine just a little thicker. I'm telling you, I like it to where it just grabs a hold of it. To me, I probably thickened it just a little bit too much. But this is what we're going to do to save the day you've obviously got some juice left over in your pan and that's your real good juice right there 
And since I didn't use all of my beef stock from earlier, we're just gonna add that in there. And this is the time to start tasting. You might wanna add a little salt. Oh, that's what I'm looking for right there. You might wanna add a little salt, maybe some more pepper. Let's see. Here, oh, let me yeah. suck on your finger. <laughs> I wanna taste. <laughs> do we need to go do we need to is skip that, the last bite <laughs> is that is that not appropriate <laughs> you're adding it all right this is perfect this is exactly what i want all right guys so we just got done plating up our plates you can see mine's a little bit bigger than normal i went ahead and uh wimped out and i was like god some good cornbread would be good with this so here we go mm. Some fresh cornbread, look at that crust. Bacon on the bottom, mm. little drizzle of honey and some butter. But this is the show right here. You guys see my sauce here, here's my sauce, look. I don't even see that. But it's not too thick and it's not too thin. And that's, that's about how I like it. I like it just to coat the meat. You see how tender it is? Just pulls apart with a fork. Oh, hell yeah. Mmm. 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 Give me a bite. Mm. I messed it up. <laughs> when we put the aluminum foil on there, you gotta make sure if you don't like the smoke flavor and you think it turns bitter, you gotta lock in them edges. Maybe the last hour I got a little too careless. We're shooting videos. You gotta make sure you lock in those sides. This is probably a seven out of a 10. <laughs> and that that's the truth. That is the truth. I'm never gonna tell the customer or the viewer. What? Yes, it is. Here we so. It is. A little bit too much of the smoke. I and it's my fault. I don't think so. You don't so. think so? So you think I it's, you think it's better so than me? I don't think so at all. Listen, uh, I was coming from bite. you. Hey. Let me have another bite. <laughs> I was coming from you from the heart. I was telling you how it is. Not everything Here, I made is outstanding. I can't do this one-handed. Help a girl out. Mm -mm. Let's taste the vegetables. Mm. Those potatoes just absorbed all that flavor. But the vegetables don't taste near. I bet because the... You're crazy. Your taste buds are off today. You don't think so? Well, I was being honest with them. Well, and they know, me, they know me in the last bite. Let me have a bite. Mm. Let me have a bite. This could be another. Oh, God, that cornbread's hot. Crunchy? Look at that crust. Mmm. No, that pot roast is perfect. You oh, that's hot. <laughs> Fire breathing trend. Mm, that's good, too. Mm. No, that pot roast is perfect. Oh, it is tender, though. Well, you are from her, the microwave queen. Mm -hmm. She thinks that a 10 out of 10, I've got it right out of a seven. If it is too smoky, it was my fault. It had nothing to do with the recipe or the ingredients. I always come honest with you guys, whether it be a review or my food. Well, <laughs> so much for a seven out of 10. Seconds. <laughs> 